Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Resident Evil. Yeah, I gotta hurry. Because <laughs> I do not want Richard to die. Um, I'm gonna put that away. Um, I think I'm going to need the lighter. Yeah, that should be good for now. Okay. Yeah. Please don't die, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't die, Richard. <laughs> Oh my god, we were just talking about it before we started the episode. The freaking episode of South Park with the lady in, um, in like real footage being like, Don't worry, Richard, I'm a pilot. <laughs> like, yeah, our like favorite one the, episode. One of the funniest ones. Those cutaways are just so random and, like, uh. Yeah, I think he's like the woodshop teacher or something. Something like yeah, that, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. And but like, he just like keeps having flashbacks to his uh, fiance. I'm assuming. Or... Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like in a pool screaming, Richard. Yeah, like, Richard! <laughs> it's like so obviously a fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like so bad that it's good. <laughs> All right, Richard, I'm coming. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> Back to Richard's room. Sweet. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? Oh, shut up. You're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I was like, he's not going to die, is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I would have been so upset. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab these. I'm not going to combine them yet. Not until I take some damage. How many grenades I got? I got five. Okay. I'm going to get more. And there's acid rounds and flame rounds. Hmm. So, not to worry. I think there might be a secret special friend right here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> he might still be alive, but uh, mm -hmm. as long as I can get past him, that's all I care about. I think there's handgun ammo and something else in here. Maybe like an ink ribbon or a dagger. Let me get this. Yes. The shelves are lined with wine glasses. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> Oh, no. Mm. No, no! <laughs> Don't grab me. <laughs> Here, let me just... Come over this way. Cool. Back in here real quick. Will I take the musical score? Yes. <laughs> There's always time for music. And then we're just gonna... Do some more of this. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. <laughs> See ya. And that's how you deal with zombies. Okay, cool. That guy's still down. <laughs> For now. <laughs> yeah, if I had flame rounds, that'd be a lot better in my opinion. I'd burn the body so you don't have to worry about freaking getting the lighter and the fuel canteen and all that. Yeah. Hang in there, Richard. Time to keep exploring the creepy, creepy mansion. <clears throat> that guy sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> He's walking right into the wall. Alright, I might mess this up, but I think I remember how to do it. Alright, so... There's something in the depression, but the grate's in the way you can't reach it. Um... Yeah. Let me see. I can't really remember. I think it's this guy first. The order doesn't matter. You just need to get them all back in place. But sometimes when you push certain ones, other ones will pop back out. Yeah. Nice. Or stuff like that will yeah. happen. Cool. Press the button. <laughs> Woe to those who disturb my sleep. Press the button. Ooh. Grab the 
this? A mysterious box. Will I take the jewelry box? Yes, I will. Um, the design design of a sun and moon. On the plate it says sunshine will awaken me. Okay, so yeah, and you need to press the two heart-shaped buttons. Yeah, and then it starts glowing on the top. There we go. Yes. Mm. Oh, button. Death mask. Cool, I believe that's our second one. Let's hope that zombie isn't, like, right, right. in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right outside. He probably is. Yeah. But hopefully he's still walking into the wall like a... Okay, cool. <laughs> Can't remember if there's... <laughs> and then this guy. <laughs> I've killed you like ten times, dude. Right. Oh my god. Alright, let me just put some of this stuff away real quick. Ooh, flame round. Nice. Okay, sweet. <coughs> um, so put that there. These herbs away. I do not need the lighter right now. Um, I'll take the triple green. And then here, I'm gonna swap the flame ones. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I love old Resident Evil games. Like, I just got into the series, uh, like, less than a year ago. But, um, a lot of this inventory stuff is a little annoying. <laughs> just because it, like, takes a second to pick stuff up. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, Jill! Faster! <laughs> Alright, and I think there's one more room I can grab up here right now. And now that I have flame rounds... Hey there! <laughs> oh, did your body not burn? What? That should have burned! <laughs> How did it not? <laughs> Maybe it'll be gone when you come back. That'd be really nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, okay. Lockpick. <laughs> Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. <laughs> anyway, you should read this. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What a name. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. What do you make of it? <clears throat> well, it seems like a suicide letter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't have to be a member of Star's Alpha team to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> The lure of the bee. Fly, Select. dragonfly. Dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas pointed <laughs> out the other day when we were playing through this, all of these say freaking dragon, dragonfly, dragon, dragon. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like all bugs. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Will I take the bee specimen? Yes. Assorted fishing lures. Oh, and what could go there? Another fishing lure. <laughs> Yeah, and that's definitely not a bee. That's a friggin' hornet. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of them killer wasps. Yeah. Grab the crest, Jill. No! <laughs> not the bees! Take it. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I hate the bees. A 
couple more things I can grab real quick. Let me get out. Red. Hmm, I think that's a first aid. Pretty sure, okay, ink, yeah, there's an ink ribbon right there. And I think there's a green herb over here. Although, how would you know it right. if you weren't just <laughs> tapping X on everything? <laughs> and thankfully, I've played this game before, so I know what I'm doing. Oh, come on. <laughs> As I get stuck on the bed. First aid box. Examine. Click. First aid kit. Yes. Alrighty, now back to the save room. And the sweet, sweet item box. Oh! He's still alive! <laughs> <laughs> that is like the most resilient zombie ever. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's drop off some stuff. Drop off that, that, and that. I should be a Gucci. Okay. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go mm. through anyway? Yes. keep glancing at our laptop while we're recording. There's some really, like, strange discoloration that happens with certain games. Like, a lot of the reds in, in this game look, like, a bit more yellow. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Yeah. It's, like, a lot darker than it is on the TV, too. I wouldn't say it's, like, a lot darker, but it's a little darker, for sure. Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> no, no, no! 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 I don't want to be at this pooch party! <laughs> Everyone's breaking through windows now. <laughs> yeah, I think it might have to do with, like, the device we use to capture footage. Because um, this isn't the only game it happens in. Like, we've been playing through um, Persona 5, and um, it, it does the same thing. Like, yeah. the colors are, like, slightly off, and, like, the lighting is, too. I, I don't know what's up with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as our channel continues to grow, we can definitely look into it. Oh, I need to grab the blue jewel. <laughs> or what if the way it is on the laptop is like the way it's meant to be viewed and the TV was screwing it up? <laughs> I don't know. That'd be wild. That would be wild. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it still looks, you know, like 90% accurate, but there's like, you know, just something off, you know, you can just kind of tell. Yeah. All right. Let me go down here. Oh, don't you knock on the frickin' door. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Nice little parlor room for all the zombies when they want to get drunk and play piano. <laughs> <laughs> Musical score. Combine the musical. Oh, I forgot to grab something. Ah, I need to go back to the dining room. Mm -hmm. ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot I need to grab the emblem. Oopsie daisy. This. Will you take the emblem? I will. <laughs> I hate seeing the doors move like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So unsettling. <clears throat> cool, now that I have the emblem, 
It's time for some music. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Whenever I hear this song, it makes me think of Case Closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that show is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the whole Moonlight Sonata one was like one of the earlier episodes. Mm -hmm. Trevor's Diary. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26th. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. November 27th. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Cool. <laughs> well, I hope you're alright, Trevor. I did it. <laughs> Alright, now, before I go put the gold emblem back, let me just run into this wine cabinet. <laughs> I'm gonna go use the blue jewel real quick. And possibly have a run-in with a not-so-friendly zombie. <laughs> Yeah, he's down. He gone for good. <laughs> oh my god, that door is so dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the laptop, it looked like there wasn't even anything on screen. <laughs> There's an inscription here, a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. I don't need to read it again! <laughs> blue light. Shotgun shells. For the shotgun, I currently don't have. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Yeah, it was all out of ammo. I don't really like carrying guns around unless I have the ammo, mm -hmm. you know? Just taking up space otherwise. Alright, and then it was this way. I don't think I went into this room. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias. <laughs> Elias? I don't know. From security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. <laughs> May 10th, one of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skin gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. <laughs> May 11th. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement and lab. 
I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday, May 12th. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Mm. May 13th, went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th, found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them for the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotted flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th, fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. <laughs> May 21st, itchy itchy Scott came ugly face so killed him tasty. Itchy tasty. <sighs> well, fascinating. <laughs> yeah, so apparently zombies have at least enough intelligence left to write short <laughs> entries in the diary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me let you burn first. There we go. Battery pack. No. I wonder if one of those two was the one who wrote those diary entries. I think so. <laughs> I think that's what they're implying. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I hate zombies! <laughs> <laughs> they're so slow, but they're so stressful. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I'm gonna do just a couple more things and then call it quits for this one. So I did a lot of side stuff today. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Okay. Bloop. Golden emblem. And then that little door opened on the clock. Which you can barely see, but you can hear it. Mm -hmm. Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. So basically, you just gotta make it the same as the picture. Large. Yeah, you gotta make it 6 p.m., I believe. Yeah, the knife through the armor and then the sword through the head. Yeah. Yeah, the lighting effects in this game are really cool, especially considering it's like a 20-year-old game. Mm -hmm. Like, this came out just a few years after, like, Ocarina of Time. And, like, obviously, you know, this is the HD version, so it's, like, got a little bit more polish than the GameCube in terms of, like, resolution. Mm -hmm. But, like, all of the effects and stuff are pretty much the same. I think it's very cool. Let me. I might want to switch to my pistol in a second. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to. <clears throat> Richard, can I talk to you? I'm okay. The others. <laughs> <laughs> Great cutscene. Also, Richard looked kind of rough in that. Yeah, his arm it, looks like it's been torn up. And his face, just like the way it was animated, was very yeah. like Toy Story 1. <laughs> Use the mansion key. Oh yeah, that was the... um shield key, I believe. I didn't examine it. It's the only door that you use it for. Also, that door's disgusting. Yeah. Oh. Payback time. Richard. We're in a 
over here, grab that death mask. Now it's time to help Richard. Do not attack me. Oh, now I'm all wrapped up. Ah, crap! It didn't poison me, did it? I am poison crap! Now I'm gonna have to go get some serum. Oh my god. Take the assault shotgun? Of course! Let me get the heck out of here. Yeah, get out of the way, you big snake! Oh, this is terrible. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. I hate him! <laughs> <laughs> I need serum. Am I poison? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was trying to show me where. Okay. So I am. Okay, yeah, no, I know where it is. Let me just check my health real quick. And I'll save when I get to the room. I'm going to get to the save. Because it's in a save room. Mm -hmm. I'll use the serum and then save it. Call it quits. Cannot afford to take too long. Here, let me get my grenade launcher out in case I run into any um, bozos along the way. Yeah. No, what the heck? Oh, get off me, get off me. Yeah, take that. <laughs> I'm like, please don't die. I don't want to lose the last 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, I just had a flashback. Okay, so okay, she's in yellow. Okay. Also, wait, let me see. Do I have any? Oh, I got one more battery pack. Okay, cool. I was gonna say in case I get grabbed. Um. Yeah. So this is just being safe because I'm super paranoid about losing all this progress. I'm going to run right out here and use some of those green herbs mm -hmm. that were sitting over back where the dogs were. There are green herbs growing here, but there's only enough for a few uses. Yes. Okay, so she's still poisoned. Yes. Okay, cool. She's green now. That's all I care about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Nope! <laughs> Not today! <laughs> okay, serum time. Pick it up. Yep, will I take the serum? Yes, and I will use the serum. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna save in between episodes. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye bye Have a good one! <laughs>